Well, this week, President Biden will mark his 100th day in office, a time frame set by many presidents to get work done. During those first 100 days, the pressure is really on for new presidents to deliver on their promises. But when all is said and done, does the presidential benchmark really matter? WBZ's political analyst John Keller says, not really. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. The first hundred days is an artificial benchmark, first floated by FDR in a 1933 speech. These days, it has little real significance as a milestone. Instead, it's a good time to assess the first impressions made by a new president, which by definition have a lot to do with who they succeeded. Jimmy Carter's outsider honesty was a welcome contrast with the Nixon era. Ronald Reagan's optimism was in turn seen as relief from the dour Carter years. And so far, Biden's low-key, non-tweeting turn as the anti-Trump has generated stellar personal approval numbers. A Pew poll last month found 89% see him as a good role model, a category where Trump struggled to break 30%. 87% think he's honest. And while support for his policies doesn't reach these heights, 92% say he cares about the needs of ordinary people. Since Inauguration Day, we have given 215 million shots. Driving it all, strong public support for his overall management of pandemic issues, especially his handling of vaccine distribution, which even draws praise from nearly half of Republicans. You won't have to worry about my tweets when I'm president, candidate Biden vowed, and keeping that promise may be the single best move of his first hundred days. Okay, that said, John, candidate Biden vowed to change the culture of gridlock in Washington. That's no easy feat. Has he made any progress there? Not yet, as far as I can see. I mean, Lisa, not a single Republican voted for the $1.9 trillion stimulus bill last month. That's incredible when you think about the scope of it and how popular it was with the voters. There's a good test coming up now, though, with this infrastructure bill. It sounds as if there's actually some bipartisan negotiation going on. And are, are, is every single Republican in Congress ready to vote against uh, direct aid to projects in their own district? We'll see just how uh, divided this city is, I think, when that comes out to a vote uh, within the coming weeks. And with so many people out of work, I think the American public, they want to see the two parties working together for solutions. John Keller, thank you.